Hi, I'm Sean Gann from Mr. Milton Math, and today we're going to learn about higher order derivatives. And we're going to use some critical thinking questions here and to find the indicated derivative with respect to x. So if I was given this function, f of x is equal to x to the 99th power, and we want to find the 99th derivative. So remember, this isn't f to the 99th power, it's the 99th derivative of our function f. So to solve a problem like this, they're not asking you to show every single derivative. I mean, you can, that's going to take forever. Let's go use some critical thinking right there to think about what's going on, maybe make a pattern to get to our final answer. So let's we'll just find the first derivative. f prime of x, we know, is, okay, 99 times x to the 98th power. Okay, second derivative, x to the second power, or second, second derivative. Well, it's the 98 comes up front, so 98 times 99 times x to the 97th power, okay? Well, let's do a third one, right? f to the third derivative of x is 97 times 98 times 99 times x to the 96th power. So every single derivative, as we go down, we're subtracting the exponent by 1, right? So first derivative, so this is the first derivative, second derivative, third derivative. We subtract the exponent by 1. So we have 98 power, 97 power, 96 power. What would happen if we did the 99th derivative, right? So we went down to the 99th one, f to the 99th power. What would we have? Let's see if we can predict this. Well, the exponents would keep coming down. Our exponent would be x to the, well, we subtract the exponent each time. So first derivative is subtract by 1, second derivative is subtract by 2, subtract by 3, right? So we're subtracting our exponent by 99. Well, 99 minus 99 is 0. So, and we have every single number leading up to it right there. So the previous exponent would have been 1. So we have 1 times 2 times 3 times up till 97, 98 times 99 times x to the 0 power. Well, x to the 0 power is just 1, right? And 1 times whatever this is is just whatever that is. Well, what do we see here? We have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 all the way up to times 97 times 98 times 99. Isn't that the same as 99 factorial? And so we can rewrite our final answer here, f to the 99th power, or sorry, power derivative, the 99th derivative of f, keep saying power, is 99 factorial. And there we have it, some large number, which whatever 99 factorial is, and there's our answer. So let's recap. We're given f of x is equal to x to the 99th power, and we need to find the 99th derivative. So I found the first, second, and third derivative to try to understand a pattern. What I saw is every single derivative was subtracting the exponent by 1, whatever derivative we're at, and we're multiplying the previous exponent out here. Well, in doing so, and I didn't simplify it. I kept it like all spaced out so I can see really what's going on. So I knew if I took the 99th derivative, I would take my exponent and subtract it by 99, so I had an x to the 0 power. And then the previous exponent would have been x to the first, which would have been right there, right? And so we would have every single number multiplied out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 97, 98, 99. Well, times x to the 0 power. Well, x to the 0 power is just 1. And so I recognize that the 99th derivative of our function here is just 1 times 2 times 3, all the numbers just multiplied out to 99. Another way we know to write that is just factorial, right? Reverse it, 99 times 98 times 97, 96 times 95, times that, 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 times 3 times 2 times 1. So I can rewrite my final answer here as f to the 99th uh, derivative, power derivative of x is equal to 99 factorial.